battle the elements of refereeing today. And I don't mean that in a negative way, they did a good job. But we never adjusted from our aggressive play. Um, and you have to adjust. Certain games are called certain ways pro or college. And we never adjusted to the way the referees were calling it. So they, they, they were 31 for 43. So, but what we did a great job of was really executing against the zone. We felt they would play a zone because of the quickness we had on the perimeter, and they did. So we battled all the elements of foul trouble, and really, really, this young man to my left gave us a big lift, making a big shot. Um, I, I knew down the stretch we had to go somebody with, with a lot of experience, and outside of the travel, he played a great game. <laughs> Rick, how do you look at today? Because it, it did seem like there were, you had chances where you could have really pulled away. And you guys oh, just... I totally disagree. Right? Okay. Totally, because you don't. I've been coaching 40 something years. Very rarely do I see a road game where you pull away like that. I mean, they played Virginia to the wire, I think, on a neutral court. This is a tough place to play. Um, we're coming away with a, a six point victory. It's a great victory. We're not going to pull away from too many people. That's not going to happen with our team, especially with foul trouble. So you can't play aggressive defense because we're, we're going to foul out everybody. Now, I thought this was a great win, tremendous job of executing down the stretch. Um, we didn't shoot the three well in the beginning, but we made big ones down the end. So I'm real proud of our guys. And, and for a change, we didn't turn it over. We had six turnovers in the game. And um, if, if Nahia didn't add to it, we would have <laughs> Rick, you didn't go to not a lot first half, the second half you did. Was there anything specific of why you Well, it's a that? zone, and he's a smart basketball player, but he's also, Danis and Nod are the two best defensive players on the team. And I, I, when, you, when, you, when you want smart players, it's going to be Nod Danis to make the right play. And um, he did down the stretch. I thought that Glenn Taylor made a great tip getting the ball back. I thought Joel played really well. I thought Ledlam played very well tonight. But it was a great win for us, a road win. I, I think a, you, you, I have always evaluated a team by how they play on the road. And tonight they battled the elements of foul trouble and came away with a great victory. Rick, in the first half you guys weren't making a lot of shots. And you have been this season critical of your defense. Just what does it show you that your defense can carry you even through 20 minutes of basketball if you're not shooting it well? You know, I. I I didn't think we played great defense. I thought we fouled too much. You know, the stats sometimes can be misleading because those, those free throws are like turnovers for a defensive team. But we did a very good job of guarding the three. We did an excellent job of switching the right way. I, I thought, you know, I, I, I'm not sure that we tripped somebody in that last play there. But I did tell my team, I said, look, these guys have gone to war tonight. They're going to miss some free throws down the stretch. They're not going to make them all because we were pressing quite a bit. Naheem, the shot that you make in the corner, the three-pointer, what did you see there? What, what, how did you feel when it left your hands? Um, coach has been saying <laughs> to execute the play with pace. Um, Jordan, you know, he came off the screen of Gunn Taylor, uh, Gunn Taylor and Taylor.